North. The North is the principal region of the Kingdom of the North. It was formerly one of the constituent regions of the Seven Kingdoms after the Targaryen conquest, but seceded during the War of the Five Kings under King in the North Robb Stark. Following the Red Wedding, the North returned to the jurisdiction of the Iron Throne under House Bolton. After House Stark regained control of the region, the North once again seceded under Jon Snow, who later pledged the North to Queen Daenerys Targaryen in exchange for House Targaryen's aid during the Great War. It was finally allowed to become independent again by Bran Stark following Daenerys Targaryen's war for Westeros. The North is ruled from the castle of Winterfell by House Stark. It is the largest of the nine major regions of the continent, almost equal in size to the other eight combined. Its total population is under one million. The North is also considered the poorest region of the Seven Kingdoms. According to legend, the Kingdom of the North was established 8,000 years ago by Bran the Builder, the founder of House Stark, who constructed the Wall as a shield against the possible return of the White Walkers. The North is the only region where the First Men were able to successfully resist the Undull invasion, 6,000 years before the War of the Five Kings. As a result the North is the only region of Westeros in which the ethnic makeup is predominantly First Men, and the only region where the culture, customs, and traditions of the First Men still predominate. Among these is the belief that the man who passes the sentence of death must swing the sword himself. In particular, the religion of the First Men, the worship of the old gods of the forest, is still the dominant faith in the North. The faith of the Seven introduced in southern Westeros by the Undols has found little foothold in the North. As a result, warriors from the North are not knights, with very few exceptions, because knighthood is a code of values associated with the faith of the Seven. However, mounted warriors are still an honored and esteemed military asset in the North, so that while Northmen like Ned Stark may not carry the title, Sare, more than cavalry are functionally equivalent to mounted knights. Bastard children of noble blood born in the North are given the surname Snow. People of the North are known as Northmen, or Northerners, and, derogatorily as wolves, in reference to the sigil of House Stark. In the books. In the A Song of Ice and Fire novels, the North is an area vast in size but relatively light in population. The North, due to its location, is particularly badly affected during the long winters, with thousands of people killed and famine not an uncommon occurrence due to the inability to raise crops for years on end, outside of special greenhouses and castles built on or near hot springs, like Winterfell, or volcanic vents, like the dread fort of House Bolton. The people of the North, popularly called Northmen, or Northerners, are known as a hardy, tough breed who hold the comforts of the warm, soft South in disdain. They worship the old gods of the forest, and the new gods of the Undols have made little headway in the North. With a few exceptions, the warriors of the North refuse to take holy orders and thus cannot become knights. Some of the Northmen live in remote, distant areas where they act little more as clans and tribes of savage warriors. Even these remote folk are vassals of the Starks, however, and are allowed to maintain their own ways and traditions as long as they remain loyal to Winterfell, which most of them usually do, as the Starks have a history of being just and honorable rulers. The Starks treated the mountain clans with respect by referring to them as if they were small-scale noble houses, i.e. calling them House Wool and House Nore, instead of dismissively thinking of them as lowly clans. Characters in the novels frequently remark that the North is almost as large as the rest of the Seven Kingdoms put together, a remark repeated in the TV series. In the World of Ice and Fire sourcebook, 2014, the in-universe author Maester Yandel explains that while this is a very common saying, Maesters have conducted fairly accurate land surveys over the centuries, which have revealed that the North is actually closer to about one-third of the total land area of the Seven Kingdoms, not one-half. Geography The borders of the North are held to be the Sunset Sea to the west and the Shivering Sea to the east, the Wall to the north and the hills and bogs of the Neck to the south. Greywater Watch and its ruling house, House Reed, are the southernmost noble family owing fealty to Winterfell. Likewise, Last Hearth and its ruling house, House Umber, are the northernmost noble family sworn to Winterfell. Beyond Last Hearth comes the lands of the Gift under the control of the politically neutral Night's Watch and eventually the Wall itself. In the northwestern coast of the north is the large Bay of Ice in the Sunset Sea. Bear Island, the seat of House Mormont, is in the central portion of the bay. The southern coast of the Bay of Ice is just north of the large forested Wolfswood. The peninsula Sea Dragon Point is surrounded by the bay. In the northeastern coast of the north lies the Bay of Seals in the Shivering Sea. 
The large and remote Skagos and the smaller Skane are both in the bay as part of an island group all considered parts of the north. The climate of the north, though harsh overall, varies from cool, maritime, temperate around the neck, to cold temperate around Winterfell, and to subarctic at the wall. The land south of Winterfell leading to the neck are almost as fertile as the riverlands to the south, and are the most agriculturally productive region of the north. The neck itself is filled with swamps. Snowfall generally increases as one moves north along the King's Road. Castles. House Stark Main Shield. PNG Winterfell, the seat of House Stark, administrative center of the north. House Mormont Main Shield. PNG Bear Island, the seat of House Mormont, now extinct. House Serwin Main Shield. PNG Castle Serwin, the seat of House Serwin. House Glover Main Shield. PNG Deepwood Mott, the seat of House Glover, recently liberated from ironborn occupation. House Bolton Main Shield. PNG The Dreadfort, the seat of House Bolton, now extinct. House Reed Main Shield. PNG Greywater Watch, the seat of House Reed, the southernmost house sworn to Winterfell. House Hornwood Main Shield. PNG Hornwood, the seat of House Hornwood. House Carstark Main Shield. PNG Carhold, the seat of House Carstark, now extinct. House Umber Main Shield. PNG Last Hearth, the seat of House Umber, now extinct. Torrens Square, the seat of House Tallheart. House Mandalay Main Shield. PNG White Harbor, the seat of House Mandalay, the only city in principal port of the north. Flint's Finger. Moat Kalin, a ruined castle at the northern edge of the neck, currently unoccupied. Barrow Tun, a holdfast in the Bar Rollins, seat of House Dustin. Old Castle. Ramsgate, a holdfast at the mouth of Broken Branch. Widow's Watch, the seat of House Flint, vassals of House Stark. Dormant Keep, the seat of House Dormant, vassals of House Stark. Regions. The Neck. The Rills, ruled by House Riswell. Cape Kraken. The Bar Rollins. The Stony Shore. Sea Dragon Point. The Wolfswood. The Grey Cliffs. Islands. Bear Island. Skagos. Skane. Coastal Areas. The Bay of Ice. The Bay of Seals. Blazewater Bay. The Bight. Rivers and Lakes. The White Knife. The Broken Branch. The Weeping Water. The Last River. Long Lake. Military Strength. Northerner soldiers are distinguishable from other soldiers, and they are renounced of being fierce warriors. The most distinguishable feature of the Northerners' armor is the leather reinforcements on their uniforms. For instance, Stark soldiers wear studded leather over their mail and padding, Bolton soldiers wear boiled leather tunics over their mail, and the Mormont soldiers equip themselves with leather jerkins. The North is not as wealthy as the other regions, thus steel plate armor is rare with only a few houses, like House Glover, being able to afford it. However, some nobles can afford many plate armor parts, like Rob Stark, and in rare occasions whole suits of expensive plate, like Yura Mormont. Due to the North's vast size, gathering the full military strength of the Starks and their vassals is a difficult process, requiring months of travel time and the ability to supply and feed the host even before it sets out. For this reason, the 18,000 men Rob Stark takes south to confront the army of the Westerlands is not the full strength of the North, only what could be assembled at relatively short notice. The forces left to guard were unknown, but main castles like Winterfell and Dreadfort were able to rise a few hundreds men with ease. By the time of the Battle of the Yellow Fork, however, the Stark army is allied with House Tully and their vassals, including House Fry, so it is estimated that their force is even or greater than the Lannister army. During the Red Wedding, almost the entire northern army present at the Twins is annihilated, with anyone who manages to escape the massacre being hunted by House Fry. While Houses Bolton and Karstark remain mostly unscathed and represent half of the manpower in the north with the Umbers, the only possibility of military support to the scattered heirs of House Stark comes from the remaining garrison and levies of other northern houses, provided they do not bend the knee to the new Warden of the North, Roose Bolton. During the conflict beyond the Wall, John establishes an alliance between the Night's Watch and at least 2,000 free folk. With his temporary death freeing him from his vows, and the Wildlings still loyal to him, the Wildlings are now unofficial northern soldiers. John and Sansa convince some of the smaller houses to unite around them, giving them 2,405 men. During the Battle of the Bastards, the Starks and their allies came close to total destruction, 
they were saved by the intervention of a sizable army from the Vale of Arryn led by Sansa and Peter Baelish. Shortly after the Battle of the Bastards, John and Sansa treat with all the northern lords and the lords of the Vale. Lyanna Mormont declares John the king in the north and is soon followed by Wyman Manderley, Robert Glover, Clay Sirwin, and the rest of the northern lords. At Dragonstone, John laments to Davos that the entire combined strength of arms in the north at this point, including old men and green boys, is probably fewer than 10,000 men. While it is not specified, it is possible that the north possesses several ships, as John uses one for his voyage from White Harbor to Dragonstone. During the Battle of Winterfell, half of the northern army is obliterated. The northern forces later partake in the Battle of King's Landing alongside the Vale and Targaryen troops, apparently not taking significant losses. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.